Okay, just a bit more of an update on the car. Uh, I have got the module mounted, EDIS module mounted here. Water injection going here. I've tapped into the uh, windscreen washer tank pump just down in here. I've got the pressure sensor there, which has just teed off the turbo uh, actuator wastegate valve. And I've used the existing factory wiring, cut into that, and up here I've mounted the Mega Squirt. Uh, I've got a Bluetooth module that it, I've made to work with that. Camera will focus. Uh, so I'll just plug this in now and show you the laptop hooking, hooking up to it. Alright, so this is Tuna Studio. Uh, okay, um, got the Bluetooth Mega Square hooked up. Selected the gauges I need. I don't need to know about the fuel side of it because I'm using LPG. Uh, so I've got the spark time in here, idle, control, manifold temp, 23 degrees. I reckon that's pretty right. Coolant temp. I'm using the factory Mercedes coolant temp sensor and I've gone off the factory specs to set that so it's three degrees out whether that's in or there I don't know um, engine map vacuum boost battery voltage uh, so I'll crank it and see if it starts I've got my doubts but we'll see what happens That's the cold start, hasn't been started in a week. RPMs 400. Yeah, it's matching up with what the TACO says. Okay, so yes, we've got the throttle position sensor working. Um, we'll fire up and see if the idle control works. Alright. I don't think I did that before, I'll have to go back and check my videos. Um, see if I can adjust the idle. Okay, well, I've got the settings for the timing right. Uh, you can hear the engine change. So I'll just click into this field, which is where the blue dot's sitting. I'll change that up to say 10. As soon as I tap out, you'll hear the change. Alright. Smoke vents over here, 75, so I'll change that to 10. Right, sorry. So moving across into there, so I'll change that to 10. that one to 13 so yeah that's working okay uh, I'm not getting any change in the idle so uh, I ha but I can change the idle duty so when I set it to 90 percent I get about 12 volts at the idle control motor and if I set it to 50% I'll get 6 volts, so that's working right. Except I'm not getting any change in idle, so I think the uh, idle control motor might be seized or stuck. So I'm going to pull that out and see what the go is there. Okay, uh, got the idle control motor out. It is... Why is that back to front? Anyway. It is a 02801405105 Bosch, 12 volt, 
and uh, you can see down there. I had to modify this uh, when my car was converted to the LPG. The idle control from the uh, factory ECU couldn't control the idle anymore. It just kept ramping up and down, and then it it eventually fail and just go flat chat, hold this wide open. So there was a set uh, screw in there that was sealed. So I had to drill that out, tap it, and put this uh, cap screw in there as my idle adjustment. So basically, I just set it to you know 650 RPM when it's hot in gear, which is a bit of a problem because when you knock it out of gear, it jumps up to about 900 RPM when it's warmed up and when it's cold it's uh, probably about 450-500 RPM but LPG will idle at that speed no problem so it didn't really cause an issue at all um, but yeah it'd be nice to have proper idle control back and that's part of the reason I put the mega squirt on so I've got ignition control and idle control uh, so yeah I've just run this and it doesn't make any difference which side I connect the power to see that opening up. It's drawn about 1.4 amps. Uh, so I'll change it over until it opens up. No problem. Uh, if I set my power supply, I've just got a dodgy step power supply here, so I've set it at 9 volts. Nothing. Sounds like it wants to move, but nothing happens. It draws about one, just over 1 amp. Okay, so I've got the amp meter in line with the idle control valve. It's back in place. I've got the uh, idle control page up on Tuna Studio. So I'll start it up and see if we can get some something happening as far as idle control goes. Yeah. 